graphic design artist from Tottenham in London, the leader in the triple jump. Next track event there. Five uh, teams in the final. England in the lane two, Australia in three, Canada in four, Scotland in five, Wales in six. And by the way, no country's ever won uh, this title other than Australia and England. Australia uh, won five times since uh, the event was first included in 1954. England three. And England, the reigning champions. So going through the sides, England uh, will be on the inside. Lane one is vacant. The lead-off girl is Paula Dunn, silver medalist in the uh, individual 100 metres, a member of uh, the very powerful Stratford Club. UK champion, three A's champion. Paula, 21. She hands on to uh, <laughs> Kathy Cook, to Joan Baptiste, to Heather Oakes. This is the lead-off girl for Australia, Kerry Johnson, 22-year-old teacher. First girl to go, Angela Bailey for Canada. Canada with a strong team. There's the lead-off girl for Scotland, Anne McGurvin. Better known as a hurdler, and right on the outside for Wales, Helen Miles, who's only 19, a member of the Cardiff Club. The bronze in the uh, European Junior 100 last year. England team, Paula Dunn, Cathy Cook on the second leg, Joan Baptiste on the third, Heather Oakes on the last. Paula Dunn of Stretford, Cathy and Joan from Wolverhampton and Bilston, Heather from Haringey, the gold medalist in the 100 metres. Australia, Kerry Johnson on the first, Loraway on the second, Bogman on the third, Jane Fleming on the fourth. Canada, Angela Bailey on the first, Lawrence on the second, Phipps on the third, and Isienko, 200 metre champion, on the fourth. Scotland, and Gervin goes first, Kay Jeffrey second, Angela Bridgman third, Sandra Whitaker, bronze medalist in the 200 on the anchor leg. Wales, Helen Miles on the first, Sean Morris on the second, Sally Ann Short on the third, Carmen Smart the anchor. Watch the England team training on uh, Wednesday morning under John Anderson. And the changing without any pressure was quite good, I must say. But things can go wrong under pressure. And the gold medals, well, the favourites, uh, England and Canada, but Australia with such a reputation in this event. And Scotland uh, certainly with a chance of a medal. Angela Bailey, a Canadian, who was born in Coventry. So, England on the inside, Australia, Canada, Scotland, Wales, the final of the four by 100 metres relay. Away they go. Paula Dunn didn't get too good a start, but she's closing down on the Australian. Bailey going well for Canada, and the change now to Cathy Cook, and Bailey goes on to Esme Lawrence. Now Canada was a bit slow there, and England gained quite a lot there, and Cathy Cook storming down the back straight and closing the gap. It's England probably leading now from Canada, and the battle of a goal between the two. Joan Baptiste next for England. Angie Phipps for Canada, and England certainly lead with Heather Oakes, the gold medalist to come from Harrogate. The last leg runner, Isienko for uh, Canada, and England in front. Uh, they've got two or three yards, and Isienko is not going to close that on the gold medals, surely. And England coming home to take gold, as they did four years ago. Canada in second place, and in third place, a very, very good bronze for Wales with Scotland for. Heather Oakes, and she's had a marvellous game. This her second gold medal. Winning the 100 and now bringing England home in front. She's a lovely character, great sense of humour. Paula Dunrunner, a very good first leg, but watch Cathy Cook go on the second. 
and Cathy closed the gap right down on the Canadian. Now, the Australians got lost somewhere here because I don't think they finished. Fine leg by Cathy Cook. Joan Baptiste, a safe change there. It wasn't a particularly brilliant change. And the Australians uh, didn't exchange the baton and went out of the race at that point. Good bend by Joan Baptiste. On to Heather Oakes, and she's chased by Esienko, who was searching for the baton, having to look back. And she's got three or four yards to make up and never had a hope. So, Heather Oakes coming home to uh, take the goal for England. Canada, the silver, and Wales got the bronze. Paula Dunn didn't start quite as well as she can do, but she really got into her running there. Cathy, quite a good change there. Adjusts the baton slightly. Did you see that? It's got it settled in the right place. And plenty uh, there for Joan Baptiste to hang on to. It's quite a strong wind uh, against in the uh, back straight. It was a safe handover rather than a spectacular. The Aussies went out there. There's a red flag because they didn't exchange the bat. I think that's the only objection. John Baptiste screaming at Heather Oaks, go, go, go. But Heather made sure. But when she did get the baton, look at uh, look at Joan in the background. Go! And Heather was right on the line there, by the way, as she uh, straightened up off the bend. It may be interesting to look at that again, because the red flag has gone up. I thought it was for the Australians. I'm sure it was, actually. Uh, the England girls celebrating. But um, Heather was right on the line there. They certainly are the best team in the relay. It would be unfortunate if they lost it. The four girls uh, drawn from three famous clubs. Stretford, Wolverhampton and Bilston and Haringey. And Cathy Cook gets a gold. And by the way, uh, we did say the other day that Cathy Cook hadn't uh, got a gold medal in her collection, which has now reached 23, an all-time record for a British athlete in major international events. It's not quite true to say that. It's only true of individual events. Uh, she's had gold medals uh, before, of course, in relay events. And uh, just from memory, I'm sure she was a member of the winning team in Brisbane four years ago. and well-deserved. Winning time, 43.40. Slowed a little bit, I think, by the headwind in the back straight, which is quite strong at the moment. Just have a look at that last change again, uh, because I, I know the judges will be looking at this. Joan Baptiste coming in. There was nothing wrong with the change. This is encouragement. The baton safely exchanged, no problem there at all. Look at Isienko lo looking for it. Now, does Joan clip the line? I'm oh, sorry, uh, Heather clipped the line with Joan shouting in the background. Right on the line she is. The odd thing is that's on the outside. She doesn't gain anything by it because she's running wide. Uh, it's a, maybe a technical infringement, but it would be gain. Uh, a hard judgment. I believe it be not an infringement. So there's no question of her repeated age, she was what they are. Going down to the...